the Van Der Rohe Knives Tracker. It's not heavily available. I think this is a one of one. I was talking to Ethan Curtis. He's the owner. He said he made it for a friend. For whatever reason, his friend didn't end up picking it up. So it made its way on his website. And it was available for 75 bucks. Uh, I learned about Vander Knives from the Knife Junkie podcast. Bob DeMarco has an excellent episode where he's talking with Ethan Curtis, uh, who owns Vander Knives. Him and his wife, Chrissy, said they would move every year or so if they possibly could. And they've moved around quite a bit. They met in Tennessee. They moved out to Alaska. Uh, his dad started up a knife company. Uh, at, at some point, I want to say that might have been in North Carolina, and, uh, and Ethan thought, well, this would be a great time for me to learn, you know, exactly what to do, because, you know, I, I could help my dad out, and it's, you know, it's really what I, I, I would like to do with my life. Uh, him and Chrissy moved to Alaska, started up the, the, um, the company, because of issues with import and export and trying to get materials, they have moved the company to Texas. All their knives are made by Ethan, one at a time. And I just kind of want to talk to you about the experience and my overall impressions with dealing with Vander knives and just kind of introduce you to the, to the brand. I don't normally do that um, because there's usually already a ton of videos out there on YouTube from reviewers uh, that, that that would already fill that void, but with this company being as new as it is, I want to say they launched. I don't know what year they launched, but assuming from their website, I would say that they've been in business for, you know, like this is a mid-pandemic type of pop-up, you know, like so that they haven't been out for a very long time. And unfortunately, I believe they're, over, you know, like they're being overlooked. Uh, for whatever reason, you know, I, getting one of their knives in my hand, I know it's not quality. You know, that's all I can tell you. Yeah, the quality is there. I love the grip. I want to say they call that a copperhead belly grip or something to that extent. You know, like that's that's kind of what it that's kind of what it feels like. The finish on this knife is like a Caswell uh, black oxide, which is very similar to a gun blue. You know, if you're familiar with that process, and you know. I don't, man, I'm not prepared. I don't have my Becker back here. But if I, you know, like, you know, um, I, you know, I, I do very much enjoy the, the gun blue on the knife uh, type of thing. I, I recently I did an experiment with my Becker BK-18 <clears throat> where I applied some uh, uh, gun blue. In. It's cold blue, you know, and just to see what kind of designs I could get. So this first video is just about Mandarin knives. This knife specifically was like 75 bucks. His buddy couldn't end up with it. It was, it was made for his buddy. Uh, it, you know, like, so he doesn't offer a tracker as being a part of his uh, common or, or, or his everyday, you know, uh, models that, that are offered on his website. He has really, like, like he's got, I, I want to say like five or six models that you can choose from. He's got the Fenrir, the Avenger. There's a, oh man, I, I can't think of all the names. I'm sorry, y'all. But, you know, go over to Vander Knives' uh, website and check it out. Uh, the, the It's spelled V-A-N-D-R-E-R, -E and it's pronounced Van Rare. So that's that. Um, Ethan, you know, I, I was talking to Ethan. He's like so down to earth. You know, it kind of reminded me of of my conversations with Greg, to be honest, with PTSD. And I can't wait to do business with both of them again. You know, but um, uh, it, you, you take a look at his inventory, and uh, and you'll see that that like his knives are not overly priced, and it comes with a pretty decent. You know, Kydex sheath. This one's like in, got that carbon fiber type of uh, style going on with it. And it comes with a clip. I will get a dangler because I don't... I'm not crazy about a, a, a sheath being this wide. Uh, that, you know, like all up in my hip business and my love handle business. You know, because I got those. But, you know, 
other than that, I mean, you know, like you're, uh, you know, like this, this style sheath is perfect for a lot of people. And, and I like this sheath for like, say the SE three or, or this clip, sorry. Um, where yeah, the, the sheath is much narrower. I can't even feel it on there, but you know, with it being as wide as it is, it, it it's kind of cumbersome, uh, for, for this specific model. Uh, like I said, this specific model is not going to matter much. It's, you know, it's not something that he makes often. And I, I, it may be a one of one. It may very well be a one of one. <clears throat> so, uh, I was impressed, man. You know, just over, like, I, I, I paid for the knife. I used the Knife Junkie Podcast 10% uh, code. And... I got it for like 65 bucks. You add the shipping back to it. It was like, and I was like, I don't know, 77, something like that. I was, uh, it has had some out time, outdoor use, you know, like me and, me and Courtney took it to the lake and we were feathering some fat wood and I did some chopping, you know, and it makes an excellent chopper up here. It made great cuts here. Did some good feathering here. And, I've got something going on outside. Sorry, I keep on trying to figure out what that is. But, but uh, I think some, I think there's some construction going on somewhere in the neighborhood. But uh, this 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 knife was a blam. So like it it might not have originally supposed to have been like seventy five bucks. I don't. I should have asked him what the original price was going to be, but I didn't. I take a look at his logo, and that's like uh like a Viking head with a helmet and that that what's in front of the Viking's face is a model that he carries his his favorite uh, knife that he makes is called the Odin and I don't think that's available right now or you know I, I, I didn't see any on his website but I, man these these scales like the handles on all of his knives are pretty much the same you know, like, and the reason why is because, like he said, I, you know, I can lock myself. He's got bigger hands than I got. He said, I can, I can, I can lock the, I can lock my hand, you know, around the knife. I can hand the knife to my wife who's got, who has much smaller hands and she can lock her hands into it too, you know, like using the same finger grooves. So it's a, it's, it's a handle that, that works. And his handle is what he's, he's focused most, mostly on, uh, uh you know, like, as far as like a signature style and I respect that because a handle makes or breaks a knife for sure. And he, you know, the, the style of handle clearly makes this, this knife way more enjoyable and usable. It, it feels very great in hand. You know, like I just, it, there's no, no shields, man. I am, I am, uh, I'm sorry. I'm paying attention to the camera. I noticed on the last couple of videos, it's been shaking a lot. The table that we're using, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that taken care of. The table that we're using is wobbly. Like I've, I've already stabilized everything else, so it has to be the table. Regardless, uh, I, I would urge anybody. I, I think, I think this knife company, you know, like Ethan is, is man, he's so easy to talk to. You can pop over there and ask him a question. If you see something on his website that you like, or you think you might like, give him a shout, man. He's, just, he's, he's a one man American operation Chrissy his wife helps out with logistics and shipping and and stuff like that but like as far as the knife making goes I believe it's just him and is doing a great job and he deserves support so like that's and and, and even more so like he, he he's not a douchebag you know like <laughs> he's he's easy to he's easy to talk to he's easy to work with and so you know like I wish him the best of luck and I can't wait to do more business with them and you know like at the prices that he has i like i wouldn't be scared of, of, of you know grabbing up a couple of his knives for giveaways uh in the future something like that at least at least one you know you know see how uh see how you guys uh and interact with that that suggestion or that that idea uh so uh overall my experience was great and there's no reason to Keep on talking about that, I guess. So, like, if you have any questions, hit me up with them. You know, like this video is strictly supposed to be about the my my impressions of dealing with the company and my 
I guess my first impressions of the knife and it's man b both the company and the knife very high quality I, I couldn't recommend either anymore uh, but you know like knowing that this knife isn't available and uh, uh, it's not circulated in his inventory I can't suggest the knife really but I can tell you about the company but uh, I guess for the time being that'd be That'll be all I've got. You know, any questions, comments, concerns, whatever, leave them below. If you made it this far, consider subscribing, but definitely do me a favor and hit the like button just to help out with the algorithm. I'm just, you know, we got to get this guy's name out there. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great rest of your day.